Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, and Abel Sanchez talk to the LA Times. And I'll link this article in the description for boxing, though you know that it's real. And, uh, you know, they ripped Canelo Alvarez, and it was shameful and stupid what he did with the meat contamination or the failed PED test for uh, Clancher Ball. We back. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Let's jump right on to it. Um, you know, Golovkin basically ripped him, said it was stupid. And, you know, Abel Sanchez was saying that his handler should have been aware of the meat contamination problem in uh, Mexico, and everybody know about it. I mean, Luis Neri claimed that. Um, Francisco Vargas claimed that. You know, so he should have been aware of what was going on, what he was eating. And they went so far to say that Team Golovkin went so far to say, excuse me, that they want to see receipts purchased when he bought this meat. <laughs> I'm like, damn. You know, I mean, he could have got it from a restaurant or, or whatever it may be. They not buying it. And they, you know, Nevada State Athletic Commission, you know, they be in the head, the top of them is saying that they won't allow this fight to go on unless um, a thorough investigation is set on Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, Team Triple G and everybody is saying on Nevada uh, Staff Athletic Commission side is saying that if the levels are, is, is deemed to be on the meat contamination level, all right, cool. But if they higher than usual or, or you know, out the norm, then the fight ain't going to be going on. They're not going to sanction the fight in, the, in Nevada. So, I mean, Golovkin and them act like they're really about to pull out this fight. And when, you know, if they do pull out this fight and or the fight can't be made because of the circumstances, you know, what are you going to do? Fight Charlo? You know, he obviously he said he don't want that smoke. So, I mean, we're going to go out to Billy Joe Saunders, you know, later this year and try to pay Charlo some step aside money. I mean, that's an option. So, but Billy Joe Saunders, no position you in. He's going to try to milk you. You ain't going to make shit between Charlo and Billy Joe Saunders milking you. So, I mean... They in a tough situation, and and, and the heart of hearts, and they heart of hearts, they want this fight to go on because they want that payday. Abel Sanchez want to fill his pockets, and so does Gennady Golovkin. But I mean, you know, they going hard, and you know, they exchanging, you know, jabs, you know, you know, with Canelo and stuff. And uh, yeah, well, you know, I'm not buying that meat contamination shit, man. I'm just keeping it real because this was if this was a uh, an American fighter or a brother, or whatever it may be, wouldn't nobody be buying that shit. And it's, it's funny how fishy this is, how. The WBC and the WBA just support him without an investigation. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm glad that the Athletic Commission stepped in and said that they got to do a full investigation and they want a full investigation done to see if this fight going to go on. They're going to clear this fight. I don't have no love lost for, for Golden Boy, as you can tell. I dropped a video yesterday that I talked about left in the description where Eric Gomez is, is, is telling Abel Sanchez that it was a draw before it was announced, okay? You know, people say, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. If it wasn't nothing, why did Golden Boy ban my video, you know, block my video from Facebook? Because I recorded my man's video that who had the footage, and they they blocked the cover saying it deemed that it, it was it was, it was their material and I was damaging their reputation or whatever the hell it was. So, like I said, man, you know, they make it themselves look guilty and guilty. It's a corrupt organization over there, man, and and I hope Canelo get what he deserved. You know, I don't care. You know, it's it's fishy. How when Ortiz got popped and Peterson got popped, the WBA slammed the book on them, you know. And Peterson had medical medical, medical papers, and Ortiz the second time had medical papers. They just slammed the book on Bus Canelo Alvarez. Oh yeah, we believe him. You know he been testing a lot of times, and if he been testing a lot of times, he been eating in Mexico a lot of times. Then why this shit ain't never came up before? You know, this motherfucker was cheating. You know, in real talk, Glovkin really would go ahead with this fight regardless because. Ain't no payday in boxing gonna pay him like Canelo Alvarez. You know, they talking that tough tone shit right now. I feel them. You know, but when this fight don't have to be made and they order you to fight Charlo, then y'all gonna be in y'all feelings trying to say, oh, you, you, fight, you know, we can, we can just fight at Madison Square Garden, man. New York City, they'd approve it. They'd approve it. We'll fight you in, in New York City, Canelo. You know, because that, that payday from Charlo, I mean, from Canelo to Charlo is a big drop off. Even from Canelo to, to, to Billy Joe Saunders is a huge drop off because. You're going to have to pay Charlo or Hugo Centennial Jr. a whole bunch of money to step aside. They're talking hundreds of thousands, you know, million to step aside. Then Billy Joe Saunders is going to try to squeeze you at the motherfucking negotiation table as well. So they crossing their fingers and, and, and dotting their eyes and crossing their T's and hoping this fight continues to go on. And Canelo really wasn't, uh, you know, doing nothing out the norm. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck about this fight at all no more. This is corrupt. After all the stuff that happened in the first fight and stuff coming back, they're talking about legal hand wraps, knowing the scores before the judges say it. It's corrupt, man. These are two corrupt entities. That was some WWE shit they fought last September, in my opinion. But y'all know what it is. TBC, we out.